hey now besties welcome back to the channel so when i tried to open up this chrome it spilled everywhere so i had to clean that up but these are the products that you're going to be using in today's video honestly i didn't even use that little little mini applicator i didn't use that but you can use it it is optional so i'm going to go in with the valentino bare white the reason why i decided to do the bare white is because the bare white gives like this little milky color and i knew that it would look good on the silver so right now you're just getting a application tutorial when you're doing stiletto i tell you guys this in every video because i'm so serious make sure you wipe up under the nail because it is so easy for acrylic to get up under the stiletto nail it doesn't matter how good your application is the stiletto nail goes is pointy it's pointed so it's super easy for acrylic to get up under it so you know what you want to wipe the sides off and make sure that you are gently brushing this now let me get, tell you guys what happened to my original dapping dish so i had a bigger dapping dish and my kids uh, it's always the kids <laughs> i didn't have anything in there i didn't have no bottom or nothing in there um i was doing nails i was painting and then they broke my dapping dish by accident and yeah so y'all know that little small dapping dish like the mini one that as soon as everybody started doing nails we know not to get it but we still be buying that, that little mini one i'm gonna insert a clip just in case so i got this one and mm -mm. this brush was so big that i had to constantly keep putting monomer inside of the um inside of the little bowl because like this brush was soaking up so much monomer it's crazy but so my application is a little it seems like his acrylic is a little watery it's not it has like a really good consistency it's not too thick either it's it's really manageable i feel like if i would have used my other dapping dish would have had it then yeah my application process probably would have been a little better and it wouldn't have seemed like i'm like wiping so much acrylic off from the brush Now we're moving into the cuticle bead. Remember to dry it off with on the paper towel and then put it a little bit uh, inches above the cuticle. Depending on your cuticle work, it should just automatically just like flow directly into the cuticle, making it such a seamless cuticle application. And then you just wipe the sides. Like, do not be embarrassed. Okay, so when you're wiping the sides, so you see like how much monomer is getting on my finger right now? I'm not having that, okay? Because you can get allergic reaction. Um, so what I do is I'll get either a Q-tip or one of those lint-free wipes. Or you can get some tissue if you don't have either one. Or get a pivot towel instead. Because tissue carries too much lint. Anyway, what you would do is you would just go around that finger and clean it up with alcohol to remove the excess monomer on your finger because you know you don't want to get allergic reaction so yeah just make sure you do that because sometimes it's inevitable for monomer to get on your skin like sometimes it just happens so you know just to be on the same side just go ahead and add the little alcohol on your finger to to prevent any allergic reactions from happening but yeah i'm starting in between the natural nail and the nail tip and I'm just gently patting it down with the body of the brush. You say nothing's wrong at all, babe. I say that we're falling off, babe. Maybe we just ain't been on the same page. In my mind, I'm down by the in your heart, you keep trying But the truth is I hide That's just the way we are But can't say you love me when it's like that Can't say I love you when it's like that If it was new, it won't be like that To everybody else, it won't just all be bad But I love when we make up like that And you love it when I make you mad But maybe we just love like that You yeah, maybe we now you want to get that apex bead and you want to gently 
pat that down you want to make sure you don't wipe this off too much make sure you still have like a good like mini hump layer in there that is just to protect the nail from if you smash it then you have a layer to where your natural nail will not get smashed also depending on how hard you hit that that mug too so uh, be careful with that but this is called the three b method here that i'm doing and i know it's like dang she don't really have a lot of space up there for the cuticle area just use a smaller bead if needed and gently just work your way around the cuticle area don't be intimidated if it gets smaller than normal because at the end of the day you just ap apply application just comes differently on every nail Now I'm going in with the cuticle bead and I really did do this nail really good. Like the cuticle bead just seamlessly flowed into the cuticle area. Like I love when I can get a perfect application like that. Even though I know nothing is perfect in red light, but when it just easily flow into the cuticle, it just makes the application like even more seamlessly flawless. But yeah, see, just work with you, work your way up doesn't matter how big the bead is and don't forget to wipe your finger off if you're getting monomer on it so for these last few nails i'm going to just let you guys watch me work i'm gonna play a little music in the background so you guys can just vibe out with me and if you're doing nails with me awesome Keep going, girl or guy. We don't discriminate over here. But don't forget to like the channel. Comment below what you think about this nail set. And I'll be back. Stay tuned. Sorry about that last pinky. I ran out of storage. But, yes, yeah, so this is the next thing you're going to need is this, like, cuticle pusher thing. So, okay, I'm not going to lie, you guys. This gel, it is very, very thick. Like, 
it's hard, but it's gooey at the same time. Like, it's just the thickness of the, or consistency, the thickness of it, it's just, it's great, but it's kind of, it's, it's going to take about two to three tries, you know, playing around with it to understand understand it and you guys please do not touch some of this stuff with your not with your fingers because i've been seeing a lot of nail techs start doing like more about like in depth about like how certain products can give us skin reactions and things like that so do your best to use gloves if if you can do your best to use gloves so what i did was right there i just took out some of the molding gel and this one, this first one was a failed. I decided to keep it in the video so you guys can see that I did not get this right on my first try. I kid you not, like, I was kind of becoming frustrated with it at first. I'm just like, what is what is going on with this? But like I said, you just have to work with it, you know, get used to it. And as I did, as I kept going, I realized that it actually curls on its own when you start picking it up so it does help make an easier process to lay onto the nail So now that I got done rolling it, I tried to apply this. And then I just like, why isn't it sticking? Okay, so you're going to need actual foil nail gel. Y'all know the foil, like when y'all be putting like the foil, foil things on people. I never really use this, so I don't really know like the correct terminology for it. But like it's like the foil base and then you tap the foil on there and then you top coat it. So you're going to need that foil gel base. If you want to use um, mines, I do have a beautiful discount code. You can definitely check it out on the website. Or you can also get it from my Amazon storefront. But it will definitely be there. So when I first applied the first one, mm, I wasn't really feeling it. But then I was just like, oh my God, this is giving me Mortal Kombat vibes. And I was thinking about doing a nail set or something like that as well. Because I really was liking the silver 3d mold type of stuff i'm like i really could do so much with this right now so it's very convenient then having to do it with acrylic i'll definitely say that so i'm just um after i went ahead and applied the foil i went ahead and laid it i'm not going to lie once these little mold pieces once they touch the nail it's really hard to move them so Try to be very careful with that. I tried to pick one up. It didn't even pick up. I took one out of the lamp so quickly, it instantly got flat. So definitely trial and error. I feel like with this third time, I was able to like pick up a better molded bead. And I'm just doing this the entire time and just trying to get better at like the consistency with it, how much I should pick up. And I've, well, I've seen two people do it two different ways this is the way i thought was easier which is you put in the chrome into the mold itself and then rolling it but people also do it as they put the mold on and then they paint the black and then they paint the chrome on i just feel like that that's just too much too much work i'm not doing all that two steps and that is it Okay, so I'm going ahead and apply the foil gel once again. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Make sure you cure it because you want to make sure that you're giving it a tacky layer. And then once you um once it's fully cured, then you want to grab your molded gel, solid gel, and you want to just lay it on top. I'm just using the tip of this just to like press it a little bit into the nail. You kind of want to be a little gentle because if you can see right there in the middle, I put a little indention in it so i just went use i just used my brush and i just fixed that little indention really quick and i wanted to do like the cuticle because i was like oh this would be dope honestly i thought about doing all cuticles for the solid gel like that because i was like this is a 
cute design, but I was like, I'm just going to stick to what I already had. But that is a good idea, though. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish this nail set out like this. Yeah, see, the more I started working with it, the better my beads was getting. So, yeah, it's definitely trial and error. Thank you all so much for tuning in to this channel and watching this viral TikTok nail set that has been going around. Thank you all so much for staying with me all this while. And, yes, look forward to more trendy designs and more uploads this summertime. I enjoyed this content. This, honestly, was really fun to make, so... I'm actually happy I decided to try this out. And, like, look at it, y'all. It's so stiff, but it's so loose. Like, you have to, you really have to you get this product. Like, you really have to try it out. Like, it's really trial and error. And, oh, if you do find chrome on your nail, get some alcohol in the brush and just wipe it off gently. And it will move. It will help move the the 3D mode a little bit easier. And yeah, make sure that you fully cure the mold because if you do not fully cure it, then it will turn flat on you. I really wish I would have took a picture of what, what happened when I didn't cure it all the way. But just make sure you cure it all the way. In my opinion, I would say for 120 seconds. But thank you all again so, for tuning into the channel. I'm doing the last finger. Oh, do you want to top coat it? Make sure you top coat it, okay, guys? Don't forget to top coat. Top coat everything. Yes, you can top coat the 3D mold as well because you want to seal in the chrome regardless and i'm just wrapping this around i am loving this design but i will see you guys in the next video bye